Joomla, replacing the default page header, versions 1.5, 1.6, and 1.7. In this video tutorial, we will demonstrate how to change the header in a default Joomla website. Based on a quick review, the suggested changes are applicable to Joomla versions 1.5, 1.6, and 1.7 for the Bees 2.0 template. Please be aware that if you are using a different template for your Joomla site, that these directions may not be completely accurate. Also, like any other system-related change, it is strongly suggested that you back your site up before starting these modifications. The default template for Joomla is Bees 2.0, with its header shown here. The template consists of three pieces. The first piece is the site description. Second, we have the logo. And third is the background. We will review the steps for changing all three. Before we get into the details, first a couple of preliminaries. I've just created this uh, installation for Joomla 1.7 in a test directory off of my main uh, site. I've also opened up a tab for my control panel. And as you can see, here is our default header for the installation, which we're going to look at changing. Let's jump over to the control panel. And I want to show you a couple of uh, images that I've already uploaded that I'll be using for my header. The first is just a, uh, a very simple PNG file called Simple Press. And then we have a larger file, which I'll be using to replace the entire header. So I've already uploaded these two images. Now let's go in and uh, let me show you how to modify the site description as well as the site's logo. And that's this information over here. We're going to go into our control panel. We're going to go to extensions, then template manager. We're going to open up our uh, these two default. And then over here, we'll see the entry for the logo file. And we see the site description down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the site description first. We'll go into select and it takes us into our images directory. And there is the file that is uh, presently being used. Right now we can't pull it up and look at it, but that's the file that's being used now. And this is the file that we want to use now. And I'm going to select that and then say insert. Now I'm going to go down and we're going to modify the site description. And I'm simply going to put in my test site. And also, we're just going to get rid of this site title. Uh, the site title pops up if you do not have a logo. So uh, if you've basically cleared this field and you're not showing any kind of graphic image, then whatever's in the site title field will be displayed as text in that uh, location. So now we'll say save and we'll stay right where we're at. And let's go back to our uh, front end, refresh our page, and there is our new logo along with our new site description. So, that was easy enough. Next, I'd like to demonstrate how to uh, replace the entire background image that we're looking at right now. And that's this image right back here. And we're going to start by removing our site logo and our site description first. So again, we'll go back to our control panel. We're going to clear and remove our logo and we're going to clear our site description. We'll save that. And then we'll go back to the front end, 
refresh the screen, and here we are. So we've removed the site description and we've removed the site logo, and all that's left is the background image. Before we get into modifying the background image, let me talk a little bit about it first. Take a look at where the uh, characters we are are in relation to the upper boundary here, very close. Now I'm going to point to the image, I'm going to give it a right click and I'm going to go view background image. The first thing you're going to notice is that now the upper boundary here is considerably much further away from the characters we are volunteers. What this tells us is that um, the image is in the background is much larger than what it uh, as it visually appears. And if we go in and we look at the vision uh, the image uh, information, we will see that the image is 1060 by 288 pixels in size. And there it is right there. But what happens in the site is the upper portion of the image literally gets cut off. So as you build your image, simply be aware of that. Understanding the way the image is laid out, now let's go in and let's actually replace it. We'll back up to our site and now we're going to go back to site administration and the first place that we're going to go we'll close this out and then I'm going to go over to my media manager and I want to make sure I've got the uh, location of the file that I want, which is test site header. And so I'm going to copy that link location. Now we're going to go back over to extensions. We're going to go to template manager. We're going to switch over to, rather than styles, we're going to switch to templates. We'll scroll on down to our B's 20 details, click on that. And then we're going to go over here to one of our CSS uh, style sheets, personal.css. And we need to modify this code. So here's the code. And we're going to scroll on down and we're looking for a comment. And there it is, the logo. So this tells us we're in the right neighborhood. And now we just scroll down just a little further. And there is our background image, as well as a background color. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to set it up for white, and then I'm going to replace the current image with my new image. And there that is. And we're all set. We simply say save this. We go back to our front end. We're going to hit refresh. And now I have my new header file in, in place. So that's all there is. Again, uh, just a reminder, before you make any changes to your site, strongly recommend you back the site up first. It will save you a tremendous amount of time if uh, you get anything screwed up. Good luck.